that was that was a seasonal seasonality thing that we had experience with our plumbing business. Okay, and be tuned to that and be aware of that. That comes spring break. Dead. You know, we're, we're dead. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 415th episode of Potty Talk. Mm-hmm. Here we're finishing out our four part series mm-hmm. of turning pipe dreams into reality. Mm-hmm. All right, so okay. we've been talking about, as we're looking at, you know, when I started the very first episode, where I asked the question, where do you want to be this time next year? Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so as, as we're recording this, you know, it's, it's the end of 23, we're getting ready to go into 24. So we're not talking about goal setting here, mm-hmm. but what can we do is we, you know, we, so this time of year, we kind of look at that, right? Mm-hmm. So new year and kind of look ahead. Mm-hmm. So, you know, what can we do to position our plumbing business? And so we talked about, you know, for, for the next 12 months, mm-hmm. okay? Yep. We talked about looking back, you know, but not mm-hmm. too long, just, you know, look at some things mm-hmm. and then looking at a couple, you know, couple assets that are very important okay Mm -hmm. and moving forward right all right and in this episode Mm -hmm. i want to talk about you know positioning our plumbing business okay for long-term success okay okay so not just for this year what what, what, you know what are the habits what are the things we can do to position us for long term okay Okay? and so again um with with this you know we're looking at we're at a new year kind of a thing you may not be seeing this right at the new year, right. okay? This mm-hmm. isn't about a New Year's resolution and that, uh, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So you may be seeing this, you know, in September of, you know, of 24 or whenever. Mm-hmm. What we're talking about is we're looking, as you're taking a 12-month period with your right. plumbing business. Mm-hmm. Where would you want to be this time next year? Correct. Okay? All right. So that's where we're at. Okay. So what are some things that we can do, all right, to position our plumbing business for long-term success? All right. Okay. Any ideas? I, I certainly do. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right. Number one, all right. Be aware of trends. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Be, become aware. Be aware of the trends. Mm-hmm. And by trends, um, one of the first things is the seasonality. Okay. Be, be aware of the seasonality uh, of your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and, and, and so, you know, like uh, in our area, spring break in Indiana, we had our plumbing business we in Indiana. plumbing business in, in Indiana. Indiana. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's spring break, you know, and the kids are off school, whatever. It seemed we just business died because yes. everyone went to Florida. We now live in Florida. <laughs> I wish all those Indiana people would stop coming down <laughs> right. and clogging up right. the beaches. <laughs> Back in the day, you know, we were the people that, yeah, came down and got, you know, clogged the beaches and the highways and the byways. But that was that was a seasonal seasonality thing that we had to experience with our plumbing business, okay, and be tuned to that. And be aware of that. Right. That comes spring break, dead. You know, we're, we're dead. Okay. Right. And what can we do, um, you know, to, to kind of create work and, and mm-hmm. you know, even just prep it. for that and mm-hmm. you know, that kind of a thing. Right. right. Mentally. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Preparing your team mentally as well. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's what I mean by the seasonality. Mm-hmm. You know, back back to schools another time. Okay. Everybody's broke getting back to school supplies and exactly. clothes and all the things. Yeah. You know, depending on your area, the holiday times, mm-hmm. you, you know. What, whatever that is, okay. That was always a crapshoot for us. It's like sometime around Christmas, it was busy. Other times, it was dead. Yeah. It just, to me, that one, you know, unless you live in cold weather, really cold weather, I think that certainly affects Which, it. But. There's the positive side of the seasonality as well. Mm-hmm. So like in, in our winters, you know, we uh, had a lot of frozen pipes and that kind of stuff mm-hmm. in January and February. Yeah. So it was being prepared for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. How, how are we going to handle that? Am, right. I, am I staff for that? Mm-hmm. Same with we had springtime, April and May. A lot, a lot of sump pumps, right. backup systems. Okay, do I have? Do I have? You know, and there, it, we, there are tons get, get, of basements. Get the sump pumps. Right. Yeah, in our area, there's yeah, tons Everybody of basements, basement. and, and mm-hmm. so the sump pumps were a big thing. Right. And so instead of waiting for it to happen, can I get you know stock up on some sump, sump pumps so that we can be ready for those days? Right. And and we already we have the stock, and we, we right. can get it. We have when it. People's right. basements were flooding. Right. Those nice finished basements were flooding. So. They want so, to service now. Right. So in, the, in that way, it's the positive side, taking advantage of what I call the waves right. and ride the wave to the next advantage mm-hmm. or, or opportunity. Opportunity. Rather. Yes. Okay? Mm-hmm. So also be aware of, you know, trends we're thinking about, um, you know, the equipment, okay, or tech techniques and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I know everyone is, is very comfortable today with, with crimping. Okay. Okay. You know. In my day, you know, some years, you know, it, it's just like when, you know, kids today is like they're so used to the smartphones and, you know, the internet and that kind they, of it's thing. It's a go-to. They don't even know what, you know, mm-hmm. what was before. Right. Okay. But there was a transition. Same thing with, with, our, with our industry. 
It's just being aware of the, of the trends. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know, how can you use that to advantage right. or for your plumbing business? Right. Learning new things. So that's staying on top of or, or having a relationship with, with someone at your supply house and with the different suppliers and things like that and learning those new trends. Don't get just stuck in something, well, this is the way I've always done it. This is the way my dad did it and blah, right. blah, blah. No, you, you've got to put yourself out there to learn um, new different things. Um, even this is not necessarily plumbing related, but business related. We, we've talked about before how um, when we started our plumbing business and for quite some years, yellow having listed in the yellow pages was a huge, huge thing. Um, I mean, it's the only way people found plumbers. That was the only way other than, you know, obviously word of mouth, you know, neighbors or whatever, but it was the yellow pages. And then as the internet, you know, started to, to take off and, okay. and become a part of society, we had to, we had to be aware of that and move there or our plumbing business was going to die. And a lot of plumbing businesses yeah. did because it, it was just such a strange concept that um, our customers weren't going to find us in the yellow pages when we spent so much money um, in the yellow pages. And there was so much effort in, in being in the, the front of your section of the yellow pages. I mean, the, that was a huge, huge marketing thing for us. Um, but the trend was going towards the internet and this thing called Google and what um, was called back then um, the 10 pack, which was the Google Maps. It was called the 10 pack and then went to the seven pack, then it went to the three pack. Um, but being aware of how to get listed on that. So being aware of that type of trend, um, not just plumbing equipment and things like that, but just business in general. Right. And it's good that you're small. You think the large companies are on top of that kind of stuff. No. They're not necessarily not because they're back. There. No, this is how we do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know if anyone here remembers, you know, blockbuster videos <laughs> for huge. I remember standing in line oh, come on, for your you movie yeah. Friday night, you know, that, that kind of a thing. And they, I mean, multi-billion dollar yes. business. The entire community was at Blockbuster on a Friday right. night. Blockbuster. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, it's when streaming was starting to make, you know, they said, no, it's, they wanted to take over. What They, they could have owned streaming. Could have owned it. They didn't it. go that they had way. had the name. There's no blockbuster today. There's not. But there's Netflix. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, um, that's, and that's, that is um, a thing of, some, of a company just absolutely not seeing the trend. Right. Not seeing the trend. All right. So oh. you got to be aware of the trends or mm -hmm. just, you know, and it's great that you are small. When we're small, we're, we tend to be a little bit more nervous and what's going on. More right, agile. Right, right. Right. Too. Right. Much more right. agile. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, another trend, and this is the trend we can worry too much about or we can kind of give too much credence to. And it's not that's not important, but um, the economy, mm -hmm. you know, the economy, because the news is always bad news. You know, the economy is going bad, this and that. The president. We've, who's been, the president, hearing, who's, we've been hearing for a while about the, the um, recession, recession. I mean, yes, oh, yeah. I mean, whatever. But it's if you continually watch the news, you really think that any minute the economy is just absolutely going to explode. You know, not that things can't happen. You know, we, we experienced a rough time with, with the, yeah, 2008 with mm -hmm. the, the housing, you know, bubble burst. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was a reality. Yes. Um, fortunately, we, you know, and so it, it did affect things. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, we wanted to serve a side of things. So it didn't, you know, it, that helped. Okay. But we still felt it big, yeah. big time. Mm -hmm. And we were able to survive. So it's not that, you know, it, it doesn't matter, but, you know, the big things don't happen all the time. Just be aware of what's going on, but don't be caught up into it. Don't, don't use the economy as an excuse. Well, I'm not going to get a new truck because, you know, I don't, you know. You don't know what's going to happen with the economy. Right. And that, that's okay. You don't, don't get wrapped up in it that way, right. but be aware. Okay. You just you should be aware of what's around you and what's right. going on. And adapt as necessary. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's number one. Be aware of the trends. Be aware of the trends. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next to um, help with your long-term success. All right. And number two here, and I'm mm -hmm. serious when I say this. Okay. Hold on loosely. Mm. That's a song. Hold on loosely. Yeah, it is. Very special. Wait, very special. All right. Back, back in the day. Okay. <laughs> Miscellaneous, <laughs> useless information when in my brain. music was good. <laughs> no, when music was good. Sorry. Like it was great. Mm -hmm. um, hold on loosely. Mm -hmm. okay, what, what do I mean by that? Okay. Um, don't hold on so tightly. Okay. Uh, foster a, a culture, you know, in your company where you're adaptable and we talk about and flexible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Able to move. Agile. Okay. Right. Agile. Okay. All right. Just mm -hmm. be, be able to, to move with things. Go, go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't try to force things and hold on. Like this is how we do it or mm -hmm. got to do it this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, I had a great example. What? Say that your um, wife decides to, um, join you in both of your plumbing business. So she's not coming yeah. to work for you on your plumbing business. I think we've established that before. Uh, but and she decides she's now answering the phones and she's going to do it her way. 
And now all of a sudden you, you're listening because you've been the one answering the phones. You're listening to her answer the phones. You're like, that's, no, that's not how we do it. Or if she starts to um, do the books a certain way or whatever it might be, um, and you're, you know, micromanaging, well, no, this is how I've always done it. And this is how I've always done it. No, no, you now are doing it together and you're separating roles. So holding on loosely to those, those types of things and, and let, let your wife come alongside and have new ideas. It's probably better than yours on some of these things and let her, her take control of that. So it's holding on loosely to those as well. Right. You know, we're talking about having a business here, a plumbing business that's set up for, you know, long-term success. Okay. Mm -hmm. And success is, you know, as I'm defining success is the ability to be thriving and growing and that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So by holding on one area we do, and that's, that's a great example there, but even just as a plumber, you know, I'm the plumber, I'm the master plumber. I know how things this should be done. So it has to be done this way. This is how you do the job. My guys, no one is as good as me, blah, blah, you know, you get caught. And so, you know, I, I you know, I'm, I'm just all uptight. I'm not letting the guys go. In fact, that's, that's the next point I want to make in here is this hold on loosely is allowing your people to fail. Allow your guys to fail. Okay. Okay. First of all, put the trust in it and say, Hey, you know, Joe, and this is this big move. You got to get to this point. Oh, you'll be babysitting your guys. Okay. That's a trap of baby. You're not going to be successful and you're not, you're not going to be able to grow. And you're not going to be able to thrive. If you're babysitting your guys all the time, they're calling you because you made them codependent. You right. made them dependent mm -hmm. on calling you and asking how this is to be done. You know, you'll complain about it and all that, mm -hmm. but you've set it up. Yep. You've allowed it to happen. Mm -hmm. You got to, when Joe calls you and asks you what, what should be done on this and here's what you're doing, let's say, hey, Joe, I don't, it's your job, man. You got it. Go for it. I trust you. I trust you. Right. You got to do it. And then you got to live with however he does it, whether if he didn't do it quite your way, it's fine. I mean, you can always, if it if it's gone bad or whatever, you can have a discussion on what you can do I'm better. Sorry, next. It becomes a teaching, right, a teaching moment. moment. As opposed to a, a bitching moment mm -hmm. where you're, you know, you're griping on him. Okay. Mm -hmm. But even if he fails, you, you got you have to allow him to fail. Right. Okay. And that's how he's going to learn. Right. And exactly. Mm -hmm. And then that's how they're able to then go on and be able to work on their own. Right. Well, okay. it then allows, it, it gives them the ability to um, create decisions, other decisions outside of that one particular thing. If you've shown your plumbers that, that you trust them and that you're, you're encouraging them and things like that, then they're going to be even more apt to make decisions on their own in other areas. Again, going back to another, um, um, uh, episode um, that we just talked about, um, giving them the, the clear parameters and expectations um, that you have. What expectations do you have for them as a plumber, as for the company culture, how to treat customers, all those things. So if they're operating within those parameters, they may do a little bit differently than you, and that's fine. Give them the freedom to be able to make those decisions, and if they do fail, let them fail, have a teaching moment, and then move on. Right. You know, I, I've seen it time and time and time and time and time and time again at nauseum. Mm -hmm. Okay. The guys that want to hold on, the, the guys that's, that, you know, the owners, the plumber owners that insist this is how we do the job or I, or I got, I got to be there. It just doesn't get done right or whatever <laughs> that you're, you're a dead man plumbing. Dead man plumbing. They, they, I've seen it time and time you again. Do that you get, forever. Right. And you're going to have nothing to show for it. No one's going to buy your company, not for any no. kind of money. You're not going to have any kind of but, but you're the man, you mm -hmm. showed them how it has to be, you know, everyone dependent on you. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, you got, you got to get past that. Yeah. How's that vacation okay? going for you? Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so you, you got to let them fail. Right. And the good news is I can tell you, cause I've seen it time and time and time and time and time again on this side. First of all, the failure isn't going to put you under, mm -hmm. you're not going to lose customers. Isn't going to do what happens is, is they start gaining confidence. You'll learn, you use them as teaching moments. That's when you use your, you know, you're the master. Okay. Well, Joe, how could we done it differently? Mm -hmm. Well, what, okay. You see that? Okay. Next time you got to do it this way. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see that you, you got it. Cause they're teaching, they're, they're, they're kind of like, like they're coming up. They see it. And then they also see that you didn't just blow them out of the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. You trusted me. You trust right. me. Okay. Rip them hey, a new all, one. all right, Joe. Hey, way to go. You learn it. Okay. You, you, you get this next time you, you, you'll have it handled, mm -hmm. you know, right. and, and they, they feel, you know, that empowered, empowered. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's what grows your plumbing business right, right. there. Giving, yeah. Just giving those those plumbers, the ability to, to make decisions on their own and work at autonomously, right. autonomously. So mm -hmm. if, well, what's the old, the love saying or whatever for the, you know, if you love them, let, let them oh. go. <laughs> and they'll they come back to you. Right, right, they weren't right, ever right, yours. Okay. That's, right, right, a, that's a bad one. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad analogy. You gotta, you gotta let, you let you guys go. Okay. <laughs> if you truly love them, Okay. Well, what are the what did the and birds, really, the mother birds in the nest do, right? You, put, you gotta push you, them out. You push them right out, right? Yeah. They don't let them stay there forever because if 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 they. 
do let them stay there forever, ever, those little birds' wings will never get strong enough, and they're going to outgrow the nest, and they're going to fall out, and they can't fly, and then they're going to die. Right. They're going to die. <laughs> That's you. You're going to die. No. No, the, plumber, <laughs> the plumber's going to die. The plumber business owner didn't push them out of the, That's out right. of the nest. That's right. So push them out of the nest. Okay. <laughs> All right, let them fly. Let them fly. Let, let them fly. fly. <laughs> Free flying. Okay. Hey, hey, for, if you're still with us <laughs> yeah. here after that. <laughs> Try what segue you I, I got, got a gift here? for you. Okay, okay. that was bad. <laughs> uh, you know, present, surprise for you here. Check it out. Hey, question for you. Where do you want your plumbing business to be this time next year? Stuck on the same dead end road, puttering along in a slow lane as life passes you by? Or are you ready to supercharge your plumbing business and put the pedal down in the fast lane to success? Hey, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, here to tell you that you'll do just that with my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success, where I lay out the exact mile markers you gotta hit in order to have, manage, and grow a high-octane plumbing business with lots of great customers, a crew of plumbers eager to ride alongside you, and plenty of money in the tank. Now, you're gonna wanna buckle up because my roadmap ain't just some guy. It's the GPS to having a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. So, click the link or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash roadmap to grab your free copy of my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success. And let's roll. All right. Welcome back. All right. Uh, how about that gift? How about that? Okay. How about you now? I'm glad you're still here. We're uh, having we're, fun here. We are. So we are turning <laughs> pipe dreams into reality. This four-part series this is part number four. Um, and today we're talking about um, having adaptability and innovation. But right now, if you are listening, well, you're, some, you're doing one or the other. You're listening or watching us on some um, video player, podcast player, whatever. Please give us a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, all those wonderful things so that... Um, you get notified too when when we drop another episode. Would really appreciate it. Um, but comments and and reviews are great. We we do love those. Just the good ones. If you got bad ones, just <laughs> just keep it to yourself. We don't want to hear right. it. So, <laughs> all right, yes. All right. Stay in your mama's basement, <laughs> eating the Cheetos or whatever. Or, we don't okay. we don't care. <laughs> okay. Just show the love. Don't show the hate. All right. Okay. So we, yeah, we won't. Well, okay, never mind. It's going to go a little too. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Okay. Okay. So anyway, we were talking oh. about um, turning pipe dreams into reality and innovation and adaptability, being aware of the trends, holding on loosely. And yeah. what's what's your final point there, MDP? Final point here, number three, uh, mm -hmm. be comfortable. Okay. Comfortability. Mm -hmm. Okay. Comfort comfortability. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Comfortability, yeah. that's a big word. Comfortable mm -hmm. is the killer. Okay. There we go. Comfort is the killer. Comfort is the killer. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know we like we like we like feeling comfortable and easy and oh, all that. Because it feels so nice. Okay. Comfortable is nice. But we have another saying, you know, be comfortable being uncomfortable. That's okay. Because that's where the winning is. That's yes. where the success is. But we we want that. We want to be comfortable. Everybody, human okay. nature wants to be comfortable. Okay. But but comfort is the killer. Mm -hmm. All right. And a lot of times, if you're comfortable, you're coasting. Mm -hmm. If you're coasting, you're coasting downhill. Mm -hmm. All right. We always want to be pushing forward. Okay. You want to be pushing forward. Mm -hmm. So have it. There, there should be that energy. And especially from you as the plumbing business owner. Yes. Okay. Everyone has to feel you're the energy. Yes. Okay. Can I no, say, no one cares about it as much as you. Let me say something about that. Um, if you don't like being the energy, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But that's that's just the way it is. You start. Whoops, you started your plumbing business with starting a plumbing business or any business. Really, there's responsibility that goes with that. And being the owner, you are now the energy. It's just the way it is. Somebody, one of your technicians or someone else on your staff is not all of a sudden going to become the energy um, for your plumbing business. You are it. So even if you're not an energetic type of person, you need to become that. Now you don't have to be doing cartwheels and, you know, doing rah-rah or whatever, but you need to be the energy and the positive energy for for your um, company because nobody else is going to well, do I, it. I'm just not that way. It's, it's my way where I just, you know, I'm just quiet. I don't have, you know. Who, who's going to follow that? Nobody. Who's gonna fo nobody's going to follow that no. or have comfort or security with that so right. there's nothing you, you yes. have you have to come in mm -hmm. every monday and then every day you know when you are there but certainly every monday we talk about the morning monday morning meetings that, that kind of a thing the monday morning meeting is a, is not a gripe session no. for you to say what we did wrong or whatever and we, we, have, <laughs> oh, we have episodes on that and of course mm -hmm. in the success academy we, we, we train on all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. but the bottom line it, it's an energy meeting right <laughs> It's the right. Hey, we're back. It's game day. Mm -hmm. All right. And you got to bring the energy. You, right. If you walk in like, you know, well, we're here and okay. 
Things suck last week. And things are going to suck again this this week. week. And so, okay, guys. Yeah, customers suck. Right. <laughs> well, right. Just just in the attitude of just that low, that's how that's how it's going to be. Yeah. Okay. Even, and, and, even and your best guys. Be lower. Even yeah. your best guys. A guy that does have energy, he, he doesn't, there's only so much that he can push. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what, what's going to happen is he's going to wind up leaving. Well, and he won't rise above your energy. Right. He won't. Well, only for so. I mean, he, mm-hmm. for himself, and he can kind of go, mm-hmm. but that's a, that's a hard thing to overcome. Mm-hmm. Think about coaches. Like a football team or right. whatever, you know, do you, how, how do they behave to their to their team and, and people, you know, staff or whatever? How do they behave? They're not, you know, this low energy. They're coaches for a reason. You are a coach. You're a coach to um, the staff that you have. It's it's your responsibility. Yeah, I mean, like Phil Jackson, you know, like my team is, you know, my players, you know, um, back in the Chicago, you know, Bulls. Chicago Bulls, you know, MJ. MJ and all that, and Phil Phil Jackson, you know, he was a quiet a quieter man, a quieter mm-hmm. coach. But you could see he was there, mm-hmm. and his energy was there. And when we talked with the guy, he was his energy was there. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. You don't have to be a raving, you know, loudmouth like uh, me right now, whatever <laughs> going. Okay, but but you're speaking directly. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then your your energy is there. They your can presence, feel you. Yeah. yeah, and you're put you're pushing there. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So always you know always be pushing forward. Okay. Okay, and then also question everything. Okay. Quite question everything is you know is it every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business stop missing those opportunities with plumbline plumbline is a 24 7 365 days a year answering surface exclusively for professional plumbing companies whether you're the plumber owner still in the truck who needs someone to answer the phone need the service line answered nights and weekends just want to catch those overflow calls plumbline is a no-brainer Sign up with Plumline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and mention that you're a Potty Talk listener to receive priority onboarding. You know, is, um, is this the right truck? Is it, do, do I want the parts on this truck? Whatever, whatever it is, don't get in the track. It's okay to, to um, question how you're doing things. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't get in the rut. Don't, don't mm-hmm. accept, am, am I in a rut? Mm-hmm. Is my business in a rut? Okay. Is this still working? Whatever the process or whatever it might be, does right. this still work for my business? Maybe right. you've grown, maybe put the, the process in when you had just a couple guys and now you've got seven, eight, nine guys or something. Does that process right. for the business still work? Um, it, it more than likely doesn't. Right. Right. Or it may. As you, well, it well, doesn't. As you, well, as you grow, you have different, different things. Correct. But, you know, it's some, you know, do I still want to have Monday morning meetings? You know, yes. I mean, you may, maybe you come, yes, it works. Okay. Right. But the point, just question it. So mm-hmm. it's just, it's like reevaluating, like we have a process of um, always re- every quarter reevaluating your honest hourly rate. Right. Because yes. things change just, just to know, okay. Is, is, and it may still be the same mm-hmm. or what I, that's uh, and a lot of times fine. it is, it's mm-hmm. fine, but you're just, you're constantly questioning. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so you don't find yourself getting stuck in that rut. Right. Looking at different systems, whatever the systems might be, how you answer the phones, um, how you schedule, how um, you have, you know, the uniforms, do the uniforms still work, whatever it is, all the, all the different areas of your business, really look at it with a critical eye and say, is this still work for us? Does this make the most sense? You know, a vendor that you're using or supply house, do they make the most sense to continue to use? Are their prices really good? Do they take care of me really well? Do they offer um, really good product? You know, whatever it might be. Um, reevaluating your, your website, and your online presence. Right. Um, one that you should probably do sooner rather than later is your brand. You know, how, how's your brand? Probably not very good. Right. Just saying. So that's one that you can definitely kind of look at it and reevaluate and say, okay, do what needs to be updated about my brand? Yeah, we did. We had, we had a great brand mm-hmm. for so so many years. Mm-hmm. We questioned, well, is, is there a better way with our brand? Right. So that's when we, you know, I, we brought in a, a marketing marketing firm or whatever. Mm-hmm. The question was because we were a, a power couple, plumbing power couple, mm-hmm. and we would it be unique we for us? We didn't know we were a plumbing power right, couple at the time, but <laughs> but we worked. You know, it's like okay, could we, would that make a difference? Mm-hmm. Should we get rid of our one, you know, whatever mm-hmm. the bottom, you know, what came out? No, what you have is great, but we, but it was good to question, not just sit right. back and, right. you know, we know that. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So question. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So you stay out of the rut. Okay. okay? And I have a bonus point here too. Oh, with all this, we're talking are you about an extra for this. Yeah, this is free. Still wow. free. All right. You're okay. So giving, but so we're talking about, you know, long-term <laughs> success. Okay? okay. Keep it simple. Mm-hmm. Keep it simple. Kiss it. Mm-hmm. Keep it simple. Mm-hmm. Okay. So as we're, as we're growing and moving along, um, it's, this, it's this thing called complexity creep. Mm-hmm. 
or I talked don't, about I this don't, right. before. Mm-hmm. It's just it wants the the we, stuff just wants to grow. We want to do something, you know. Pl- you know, politics. I've always said to people, we, we want our politicians to go. We want to send them to Washington, and we want them to sit there at those little desk and do nothing. I, I much rather have. I much rather look in and see that their feet are up on the desk mm-hmm. and they're staying out of our business. Yeah, that would be but, the best. What happens is, is we have we have to. They go there, and so we got to do stuff. Got to um, justify our Just, existence, right? And so we, we start regulations and this and that, and we have all these kinds. So we come in, and, and so all this complexity creep. I mean, just we constantly, right? Right. You know, keep it simple in your business. It's like that's why we say don't. You know, we, we teach you don't don't go get a big big shop mm-hmm. because when you have a big shop, you tend to, I, I got to put stuff in it. Right. Got to fill this bad stock, boy gotta, up. Right. You don't and, need a big right. And then if I'm going to put stuff in it, stock in it, then you know what I need? I need parts manager. Be part right. I need and a parts manager. Mm-hmm. And it starts all that complexity. Mm-hmm. Okay. Start starts creeping in. Mm-hmm. Keep it simple. Mm-hmm. So uh, every process, everything you're doing, is this the simplest way to do it? Right. Okay, not that it's the sexiest or the fanciest or the latest, whatever, the shiny thing that's out now. Is what I'm doing was simple, it works. Right. You know, even down to like our stocking system, we had the wanding, people had the wanding and all the big companies. You know, we we had it, we had it where our, you know, we kept it simple. We kept Mm -hmm. it simple. Mm They, even when they, you know, for our management tool, whatever, when they use the parts, it automatically did it. That it was there, but they just wrote on a piece of paper. We had a pad of paper on the back of every truck or whatever. Mm-hmm. They wrote it in, they sent it in. Here's, a, you know, the other That's stuff. I need. I need these fittings right mm-hmm. here. Right. That, that kept it simple because mm-hmm. then that's easy to manage. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So keep it simple. Keep All right. it simple. I, I can't stress. I know. That. That's the biggie. That, that's the thing that creeps in. That's the weeds that creep in and wind up strangling. Mm-hmm your success you, and your growth. Yeah. Cause then you've got to manage whatever right. that is. Somebody has got to manage it. And if it's not you, then you're hire somebody. So then you're just adding layers and then you're having to now manage that person as well. Um, or if you're the one doing it, then okay, well how much more time are you going to be spending at your business as opposed to doing the things that you really want to do? So, right. Right. Okay. okay. All well, right. That concludes it. Yeah, that's that it. That, that's the, our series there. I love the title. <laughs> pipe turning pipe dreams into Reality. Right. If you want help turning your pipe dreams into rea- reality, mm-hmm. you know, let me help. Okay. Let us help you. Help. Let me help, help you. you. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a conversation. All right. You schedule your free, um, free session. You know, we'll have a call with a success coach. Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. Mm-hmm. Schedule your free success coach. All or right. Call. Call. With the coach. Right. Yes. There we go. All right. Okay. All right, good job, babe. There there we go. All right, turning pipe dreams into reality. (laughs) Good stuff there, okay? But before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. Mm -hmm. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.